So I made a video recently talking about how you can only earn gold on six characters. Well, in this video, we talk about how to get around that. And you basically just make more account. Let's get into how this works. So I want to tell you about something, okay? I think it's very important to know this. You don't want to miss out, boys. You want to miss out this one. Super secret knowledge here. So during the Amazon announcement, the director said, so characters are launching every, launching every two or three months. Something important to know is on the KR, JP, RU servers, free boost for every character release as long as you have a level 50. Pretty sure, that was, that's the only requirement. I don't think you've ever needed to have them at a certain item level. So why is this important? Well, we were just talking about the six character gold limit, right? So how you can get around this is to min-max your gold, okay, gold income. Now this is for the absolute no-lifers, people who want to manage like multiple accounts, okay? <laughs> if you want to manage more than one account and you want to do all the side collection thingies again, then yo, this is for you. I actually recommend before the first character launch releases, level up another 50 on a second or more accounts. Why? Don't do too much maintenance on it before the first character release. More than one, just level, just another 50. Now this is entirely up to you. Why do I say this? Okay. Every time they come out with a new class, we all get 50, a free 50 boost. As long as you have a level 50 in the account. So can you imagine this? E E.g. You have three, you have four accounts. <laughs> Just to go to the extreme, each with a level 50. <laughs> each with a level 50. New class releases, you now have four free boosts. Another class releases, eight free boosts. Another class releases, 12 free boosts, and so on and so on and so on. And so if you want to min max your gold, and this is assuming, assuming ADS takes no action against against gold sharing between accounts. Now this is like some gray area, you know, gray area shit, but people should know this, okay? Otherwise you might get left behind. Yeah. So something to consider. It, it does suck, honestly. And it was a recent change that screwed me over massively because I have all my characters on one account. I actually pay Smilegate to have to be able to have more characters in one, one place. So yeah, I got kind of wrecked. Also something else to know is that you don't have to make another account, but honestly you should. You can still earn gold on other servers, on your main account. Yeah, this is tips to the super try-hard people. Oh, okay, four accounts is an extreme, okay? You could do this, which is, you could, you could do it with two. Four is the extreme, <laughs> okay? You can do it with two, I, and I'm gonna do it with two. My second account is gonna be all scatters because it's cheap to boost. The six, the six character gold limit is roster based. Roster based. Anyway, I hope that helps. Good to know. If you're gonna try hard and you wanna get min max gold making, try and get secondary tertiary <laughs> accounts with at least one level 50 before the first class releases, then you get multiple free boosts. So it's essentially multiple accounts with gold funneling to one main account. Yes. But after a while, it does pay back like massively. And yeah, originally you could earn gold on as many characters as you could in one single roster, but they nerfed it so you could only earn gold on six. Well, if I have gold in an alt server, can I give it to my main server? That's the thing we don't know yet. Assuming ADS takes no action against gold sharing between accounts. And how do you share gold between accounts? Between accounts. Use a gem if on another server. For whatever reason, within the same region. Sell cheap gems. Cheap gems. So assuming ADS doesn't care, yeah, you just send gold to each other through the mail and you do get some tax from it. So good question. Why do you need different accounts when you can play in multiple servers? You only get a free boost per account every time uh, a new class releases. Now this was limited on the Korean server because you need, for every phone, for every phone number, you only have uh, five accounts. But on NAEU, there's no such limitation. There's no limitation. So we're making new accounts, so we get free boosts every time we get a class release. Also, also Hyper Express. Hyper Express um, basically reduces upgrade, upgrading. It basically effectively halves the cost of upgrading to a certain line level. Mm. Any other questions? Ideally, you want new accounts so you can get the free boosts for the, every time the class releases. You could do alternate servers, but you miss out on free boosts. So there's, there's essentially no point in making characters in another server when you can just make a new account because there's no limitation with AGS, right? Or Steam, you can just make another Steam account. Yeah, Hyper Express is this thing. Actually, I guess for science, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. I'm saving this, but I, I'm just gonna do it now. Uh, Hyper Express is this thing, yeah. I'm gonna apply it right now. Can't you do six characters dailies per server? You can, yes. But honestly, if you're gonna spend extra time on more characters than your six max, may as well just make another account. Unless you're not bothered. Unless you're not bothered. So here, this is this is Hyper Express. Hyper Express. Uh, and let's apply it. Okay. Oh shit! I gotta hide this. 
All right, so we enabled it. So this is HyperExpress. Check this out, okay? This is HyperExpress. I don't know if Annie will get this, okay? Um, every time you hit a item level milestone, you're rewarded for it. So it helps you ease the burden of upgrading. So if you check this out, we get some upgrade fragments, we get some battle items, we get some armor and weapon fragments, we get some upgrade stones, we get some engraving books too. And yeah, the reward changes. Oh, we get a lot of shillings as well. These are shillings or silver. And it gets quite nice actually, the further up you can go. Gives you some purple engraving books as well. Yeah, so if, if I boost this to 1445 all the way, I get 3000 gold in the end. That's all items and all these engraving books and shillings and all the rest of it, all the upgrade mats. So that's Hyper Express. The other thing is Story Express. Um, I can't apply to any characters. It has to be a fresh character. Story Express is like doing everything from the very start, the literal very start of the game, all the way up to Punika. And you get some nice rewards from that. But the important thing to know is that you only get Hyper Express and one Story Express per account. So that's where multiple accounts comes in handy. I hope this helped.